Okay, back in September. Oh, I've got the question. <laughs> That's okay, um, keep going. Would you tell me a little bit about yourself and how you came to find a Thrive programme? So back in September, for the past seven years, I kept trying to stick an exercise to prove that I, to prove myself that I could get through this uh, problem that I've been having. But every single time, I kept, I kept failing, I beat myself up. And on that day in September, so that, so that I had enough, went online, like, looked, I went online, looked around and found, found five programme. And I just walked straight away. Excellent. So specifically, it's a thri it's cure your emetophobia and thrive that you actually bought the book, didn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, how did you find going through the thrive uh, cure your emetophobia and thrive workbook on your own, Callum? Uh, back in from October seventeenth until May the fourteenth, I spent a lot of time trying. Essentially, going for it on my own, it was a lot longer, I found it a lot harder and, and, and much longer to actually eliminate a certain and helpful thinking styles. Okay, good. Yeah. So, what was the difference then? Because you made a decision to look up a Thrive Consultant and you happily found me, didn't you? Mm -hmm. So, what was the difference in um, the uh, your ability to put into practice what you'd learned from the Thrive Workbook by going through it? with me as your Thrive Consultant. Sorry? <laughs> what, what was the difference in you working through the book on your own and actually coming to sessions with me as your Thrive Consultant? Essentially, well, in the space of about uh, two to three months, I would say, I managed to, or with her advice and help, I managed to I managed to really eliminate another thing, another thinking, another thinking styles much quicker with Pat, and also helped give me um, a stronger belief and <clears throat> build up, build up more confidence and just have, have more control with. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Really good. Um, so, what do you think was the driving force behind your emetophobia? It was all to do with exercising. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be sitting exercise to prove that I could just get over, just get over, just, just get over with it and be gone. And because I kept, I couldn't do it every single time. I beat myself up, reinforced, reinforced my perfectionism, and lack of my thinking. And never, and never, 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 never let that go. It's much, it's much more manageable exercising, and I can really have fun. And because yeah. you've been challenging yourself quite a lot, haven't you, um, throughout the course of the Thrive Program? Um, what sort of things do you feel that you give me a couple of examples of the things that you've tolerated more efficiently now that you're managing your thinking and emotions much better? Okay. One of my biggest things was worrying and obsessing. Uh, with worrying now, I can, before, before five, I would worry all day about something and it would just make, it would make my day go really uh, pear shaped as it were. But now, after, after completing the five programme, um, it takes about 20 minutes, maybe five minutes to remove, uh, to remove a worrying thought in my mind and that's really, really excellent to help my day be really? much more controlled. So you've got more energy for other things. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, well done. And um, what do you think the biggest improvement is that you've made throughout your time through the Thrive Programme? <clears throat> I would definitely say my self-esteem, mm -hmm. hands down, definitely. Because you've worked very hard on improving that, haven't you? Yes, Yeah. because right now, it's safe to say, I've been the happiest I've been in, in about seven years. Mm -hmm. It's very, just huge and mm -hmm. excellent. excellent. Okay. How do you see a future, Callum? Well, as Tony Robbins would say, I, I would live with passion and just, you know, just 
you're much more can you're much more in control of myself than just you know ch I'll keep challenging myself. Um, so you're going to be pacing yourself now and put into practice what you've learned continually until it becomes your really normal way of being for you to be happy, healthy and successful. Yes. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> really well done. Thanks. Okay.